May the Almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth bless you, guide you, protect you, and deliver you from the snares of the enemy, whether it be visible or invisible, by the precious blood which he shed on Calvary on the cross, for the salvation and the redemption of the entire world. Amen. <clears throat> the Gospel of today is from, according to St. Luke, chapter 2 verses 21 to 52 the end of the chapter so it's quite lengthy the gospel of today it's Luke chapter 2 verses from 21 till the end of it which is now verse 52 but we're gonna sum it up in 10 hours a couple of lessons one is to do about the Holy Mother and the other one about the Lord Jesus. Mother and son, son and mother. They never separate. It's incredible how the Holy Bible is speaking about the Holy Mother. And the author of the Holy Bible is the Holy Spirit who is God himself. So the author of the Holy Bible is God. And when God talks, he means it, he knows what he's saying, and purposefully he is allowing it to be documented through certain servants of his, which he has chosen through his divine and infinite will. So it happened to be Saint Luke, one of the gospel, or one of the four gospel writers. There are three places where the Holy Mother pondered things in her heart or thought of these words in her heart. She kept absolutely silent at three different places throughout her life's journey on earth. One was at the birth of her beloved son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Two, at the temple, when the Lord Jesus was 12 years of age, when they went up to the temple in Jerusalem at the Passover feast. And number three, on Golgotha, Calvary, at the foot of the cross, the Holy Mother kept silent in these three events. She was thinking of these words in her heart not in her mind. The language of the heart and the language of the mind. The problem of humanity and the problem of some Christians throughout Christendom is the language of the heart. Unfortunately, sometimes as Christians, we speak about faith, we speak about the Lord Jesus, we speak about our Christianity, yet without whether realize it or not, we are using our heads rather than our hearts. Or in other words, we are speaking the language of the mind rather than the language of the heart. If we use our minds, our intellects, the ultimate we can reach, the ultimate we can reach with our minds, with our intellectual capacity is this realm where we exist in. Now this realm is the tangible realm, the materialistic realm. And if we use our minds only, our intellectual capacity only, it will get us ultimately to this tangible materialistic realm. The moment the moment we start thinking within the realm of this world, someone in us will rise and will come alive called the body. And when the body starts talking, when the body starts moving, when the body starts being activated, we end up being spiritually blind spiritually blind that is why 
you see not only in the world but also within the Christian circle you see so many Christians spiritually blind why because they use their intellect or the language of the mind rather than the language of the heart No wonder there is not much mentioned in the New Testament about the Holy Mother. Some people misinterpret this and think that her role was not that important. That's why there is not a great deal of a mention of her in the New Testament. It's quite the contrary. The reason why the Holy Mother is not mentioned that much in the New Testament because the Holy Mother, so unique, so special out of all the saints she spoke the the language of the heart much more perfectly and deeply than any other saint than any other saint and guess what since it is the language of the heart guess what it is the language of god why because god is love this is the holy bible teaching us all god is love and love comes from the heart dwells in the heart love is the heart and says it is the language of the heart love then it is the language of the spirit so the holy mother even though she was in the physical body on earth but she lived spiritually throughout her life amazing woman amazing person so deep so profound in her love and in her faith to the almighty god 